Hello everyone! Voting for Ludum Dare 38 is in full swing and thank all of you who gave Headroom a try, uh, gave us a rating and left some comments and feedback. That's really valuable. Uh, yeah, also I played some of the games and had some really great fun doing so. There are some great concepts out there, really humbling. And yeah, I thought I share my personal favorites so far of Ludum Dare 38. RGB by Madmore is a little puzzle game that's all about color separation. The first levels are simple enough, but soon new mechanics get introduced and will leave you scratching your head. But when you figure it out, it's very rewarding. I like puzzle games and colors and still have to beat this one though. Cyber Noir The Club by Frederico Di Stefano, Luigi Lupu Philipson and Salvatore Liotta is a cyberpunky whodunit adventure set inside the little world of a club of neo-Luddites. An AI was killed there and you have 20 hours to find evidence to arrest the killer. Everything is on the clock. You need to be at the right time, in the right place and talk to the right person to get the next clue. It reminded me a lot of Infocom's deadline actually. I played Cyber Noir for almost an hour over and over, but never managed to finish it successfully. Thankfully, there is a walkthrough for the impatient, but that's cheating. Islands in Equilibrium by Neku Soul is another puzzle game, where you have to place the right tiles so that populated areas and forests stay in equilibrium. There are not many building blocks to work with and still it has an interesting depth to the puzzle design. It got a little too hard for me towards the end, but I still highly enjoyed it. Superbugs by Brad Mower and Bunnery is yet another puzzle game and yet another one whose mechanics involve colors. Other than RGB, the rules of Superbugs were easier to grasp and the game starts off nice and simple also. Being a fan of Dr. Mario as well as Hexix, Superbugs got me hooked almost instantly. And it was great fun. There's a lot in these simple mechanics and I would love to see this game as a full release or at least have a bunch more levels to play. And finally there's Koffer by Pragmascript and it's also a puzzle game. Well, not quite. Koffer is German for suitcase, uh, the small world of choice where this game takes place in. The gameplay is simple, draw the initial direction of a wine and watch it grow. The goal is to have those 8 marbles be touched by the 4 vines you can see. The placement of the marbles is random and sometimes a bit unfair, so just quit and restart the game to have another shot. I love the minimalist and surreal presentation, the lighting and the technical achievement of it all. It has something very calm to it and I played almost an hour with it, mostly just watching until I finally managed to solve it. And yes, a short little update on my side of things. Uh, last time I told you that I went to my parents to shoot the remaining uh, videos I need for making my old games. So this is almost complete. I still need to record some of my old games in some emulator because <laughs> this stuff doesn't run on, on any more than computers anymore. Yeah, so that's that. Uh, then uh, this week, yes, I also went outside into the real world, you know, the scary one, where I collected plants and leaves and yeah, just shot some textures which I can use for environment art assets. Why? Why not, right? And finally, there's the big update. Well, update. It's 4,000 words of making Ludum Dale 38, the postmortem. Yeah, it's 4,000 words, the first draft. It will get shorter as I'm going over it again and again. Once I have the script, um, I can pretty much start editing and then it should, should really have something to show. Uh, all right, yeah, that's it from me. And remember, always be yourself, unless you can be a unicorn. Then always be a unicorn.